Nights Lifters begins tomorrow at 9.50 on BBC Two. If I was a store detective and somebody walked in dressed like this, I'd watch him. This is BBC Two with two more teams facing the great Inquisitor. Jeremy Paxman. Hello, more fun and games as another two student teams do battle for a place in the second round. Christchurch, Oxford, or the House as it's known, was founded in 1525 by Cardinal Wolsey as Cardinal College, but when he fell from grace, Henry VIII thought he could get hold of it and gave it its present name. Much of the architecture dates from Wolsey's time, although the famous Tom Tower is by Christopher Wren, and the chapel, which is also a cathedral, is 13th century. So the team are no doubt delighted to have travelled to these tastefully attired studios here in Manchester. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Seb Falk. I'm from Dunmo in Essex, and I study history and Spanish. Hi, my name's Alex Roth. I'm from Northwood in Middlesex, and I'm reading chemistry. And their captain? Hi, I'm Ben Fasham from Reading, and I study French and Portuguese. Hi, I'm Rachel Stalker from Liverpool, and I'm reading law. Now, Birmingham University celebrated its uh, centenary last year. It's situated in leafy Edgbaston and is home to around 20,000 students, making it one of the UK's largest red bricks. It too can boast of impressive architecture, being dominated by the Chamberlain Clock Tower, named after the university's founder and nicknamed Old Joe. Let's meet the Birmingham Four. Hello, I'm Ewan Mitchell. I'm from Trickenham and I'm studying physics. Hello, I'm Andrew Tarpey from St Albans and I'm reading Materials Engineering. And there, Captain? Hi, I'm Liam Herringshaw. I'm from Leicester, and I'm doing a PhD in Paleontology. Hi, I'm Stephen Melnikoff from Barnet in North London, and I'm doing a PhD in Electronic Engineering. You all know the rules. Ten points for starters, 15 for bonuses, five point fines for incorrect interruptions to start a question. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first start of a ten. Gallia est omnis divisa in partes tres, or Gaul as a whole is divided into three parts, is the opening line of De Bello Gallico, by which Romans... Christchurch Roth. Caesar. Julius Caesar is correct, yes. Right, you get the first set of bonuses then, Christchurch. They're on things lost at railway stations. In Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest, which character left her manuscript in a pram in Bayswater and the baby she was minding in a handbag at Victoria Station? Miss Prism. Miss Prism? Yeah. Miss Prism? Correct. What was the name of T.E. Lawrence's account of the Arab Revolt and his own part in it, much of the original text of which he lost at Reading Station? The Seven Pillars of Wisdom. Correct. Which organisation announced an increase in security after an incident on March the 4th, 2000, in which a laptop computer containing classified information was stolen at Paddington Station? MI6. No, it was MI5. MI6 oh. lost their laptop in the back of a taxi after going to a tapas <laughs> bar or something. <laughs> right, another starter question. Ten points for this. By what name is the actor and comedian born William Claude Dukenfield better known? His film roles include Mr McCorber in David Copperfield in 1935 and Cuthbert J Twilley in My Little Chickadee in 1940, which he co-wrote with Mae West. I'll tell you, it's W.C. Fields. Another starter question. Complete this definition of a conservative force. The work done by the moving of a particle from a point A to a point B is... Birmingham Melvinkoff. Is it enthalpy? No, when you want to buzz from Christchurch. It is independent of the path taken. Another starter question. The wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles and the speed of Mercury were the attributes of which superhero, otherwise known as Billy Batson, who was transformed when he spoke the acronym of their names, in other words, Shazam. Christchurch fashion. Banana man. No, anyone to buzz from Birmingham? Uh, Birmingham Melnikoff. Uh, Flush Gordon. 
No, it was Captain Marvel. Do you know nothing at all? <laughs> right, another starter question. Which name has been shared by a Hollywood film director and an English dramatist, the former being responsible for Stagecoach in 1935 and the latter for Tis Pity She's a Whore in 1633? Christchurch Falk. Is it Ford? John yes. Ford. John Ford is correct, yes. More bonuses for you then, Christchurch. They're on AA Milne. In 2000, researchers at Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia presented a neurodevelopmental perspective of the works of AA Milne. According to them, which of Milne's characters suffers from attention deficit hyperactivity disorder with tendencies to Tourette's syndrome and microcephaly? Tigger. No, that's Winnie the Pooh. Which of Milne's creations was diagnosed as suffering from a generalised anxiety disorder and was prescribed the anti-panic agent paroxetine? Eel. No, that was Piglet. <laughs> uh, which character is a chronic dysthymiac and anhedoniac uh, for whom fluoxetine or St John's wort was prescribed? Eel. <laughs> that was Eel, yes. <laughs> He's always damp in his part of the forest. Another starter question now. Representatives of China, the USSR, the USA and Great Britain met in the Georgetown mansion of Dumbarton Oaks in 1944 to formulate proposals which led to the establishment of which international organisation? Christchurch Falk. Is it the UN? It is the United Nations, yes. <laughs> Three questions on an English town, Christchurch. Dubris was the Roman name for which town on the south coast of England? Hastings. Hastings? That was Dover. The flight to Dover and a sojourn with his eccentric aunt Betsy Trotwood form part of the adventures of which of Dickens' eponymous heroes? David Copperfield. Correct. Many's the jack of Dover you have sold that has been twice warmed up and twice left cold. These are translated lines from the prologue to which of Chaucer's Canterbury Tales? The Wife of Bath? No, it's the Cook's Tale. Right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see the home of a writer. Ten points if you can name the writer who lived there from 1897. Christchurch Roth. Jane Austen? No. <laughs> Birmingham Herringshaw. Oscar Wilde? Well, at least you're in the right century. Yes, no, it's Henry James, I'm afraid. So uh, we'll take the picture of Bernie. Jane Austen in 1897. Um, <laughs> right, here we go with another starter question. We'll take the picture bonuses when someone gets one right. The monarch's right to summon and dissolve Parliament, appoint bishops and judges, and have exemption from most statutes is covered by which two-word legal term, meaning the residue of... Christchurch Stalker. Royal prerogative? Royal prerogative is correct, yes. So, Christchurch, you'll be delighted to know that you get the picture bonuses on homes of writers. First for five points, who lived here? Um, Wordsworth. No, that's Beatrix Potter. For five points, which writer was born in this house in 1840? Thomas Hardy. Hardy is correct, yes. And finally, which writer bought this building in 1930? <laughs> uh, sorry, we don't know. It's Vita Sackville West at Sittinghurst Castle. Another starter question. Ace built at Teddington and Madam, or M A D A D M, ah. built. Birmingham Mitchell. Particle accelerators. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Built at the University of Manchester were early models in the development of what? No, you may not confer. One of you may buzz Christchurch. Christchurch fashion. Observatories. No, they were computers. Another starter question. Which artist has produced a book entitled I Want to Spend the Rest of My Life Everywhere with Everyone, One to One, Always, Forever, Now? His recent works include Love Lost, which consists of a glass cabinet filled with water, a gynaecological... Ah, Birmingham Herringshaw. Damien Hirst. Damien Hirst is right, yes. <laughs> we'll be storming away onto five points. You get a set of bonuses now on amino acids. Which is the simplest of the amino acids, its side chain consisting of a single hydrogen atom? Glucose. Glucose. It's glycine. Of the 20 amino acids that are relevant to the makeup of mammalian protein, which two have sulfur containing R groups? No, sorry, no it's idea. Cysteine and methionine. 
In mammalian protein, all the amino acids, with the exception of one, consist of a carboxylic acid and amino functional group attached to the same tetrahedral carbon atom, which is the exception, known as an amino acid, and is a structure with the amino group bonded to the alkyl side chain forming a ring. No, sorry, no idea again. That's a proline. Another starter question. Which historical figure is the subject of recent claims by French forensic scientists that he died of arsenic poisoning after high traces of it were found in a sample of his hair? It's been suggested that his tomb in the Hôtel des Invalides in Paris be opened to allow... Christchurch folk. Is it Napoleon? It is Napoleon Bonaparte, yes. Bonuses for you then, Christchurch, on blood. According to Matthew's Gospel, on which specific occasion did Christ say to his disciples, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins? The Last Supper. Correct. In Greek mythology, which youth was killed by a wild boar whilst hunting? Aphrodite was so moved by his death that she made a red flower spring from his blood. Narcissus. That was Adonis. Which young British artist produced a work entitled Self, consisting of a frozen cast of his own head using nine pints of his own blood? Damien Hurst. No, that was Mark Quinn. Another starter question now. Meeting at Pinoli's restaurant in London on July the 1st, 1905, which meeting saw the institution of a society, its first president being the performer David Devon? Ah. Birmingham Mitchell. The magic Circle. The Magic Circle is right, yes. <laughs> Three questions on 18th century personalities for your bonuses. In what context did Jack Shepard, James McLean and John Rann achieve n notoriety in the 18th century? Yeah. Highwaymen. Correct. Known as the Gentleman Highwayman, James McLean, executed 1750, was assisted in much of his crime by a failed apothecary. What was his name? No, sorry, don't know. William Plunkett. Which two actors played Plunkett and McLean in a recent film adaptation of their story under the tagline, They Rob the Rich, and that's it? No. Richard E. Grant and... No, it was Johnny Lee Miller and Robert Carlyle. Another starter question. I Am a Hotel is a 30-minute feature film made by which Montreal-born poet and songwriter who wrote the novel... Birmingham Herringshaw. Leonard Cohen. Leonard Cohen is right. Right, you get bonuses on New York. Which of the five bor boroughs of New York City has a name deriving from the surname of the Scandinavian who purchased 500 acres of land in the area in 1641? Staten Island? No, it's the Bronx, after Johannes Bro Jonas Bronx. The title of which film, released in 1989 and based on a collection of short stories by Hubert Selby, Jr., Includes the name of New York's most popular borough. What was the name? Populous borough, sorry. Manhattan Tales? No, it's last exit to Brooklyn. Referring to the station in New Jersey where passengers travelling south and west had to change trains from New York, Manhattan Transfer is the title of a novel by which author, also known for the trilogy entitled USA. No, sorry, don't know. John Dos Passos. Another starter question now. From the Greek for without colour, which adjective describes lenses that transmit light without separating it into... Ah. Birmingham Melnikov. Achromatic. Achromatic is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Birmingham, are on pairs of lovers. A son of King Priam of Troy and a daughter of the Trojan priest Calchas were the eponymous lovers of which play by Shakespeare? Troilus and Cressida. Correct. Which legendary Celtic hero fell in love with the bride he was sent to win for his uncle, King Mark of Cornwall, after accidentally drinking a love potion? Finn McCool? No, it's Tristan, as in Tristan and Isolde. And in Virgil's Aeneid, what is, the what is the name of the widowed queen with whom Aeneas falls in love and then abandons at the command of the gods, leaving her to commit suicide? Sorry, I can't remember. It's Dido. We're about halfway through the contest, 45 and 80, and we're going to take a music round. You're about to hear a piece of classical music. For 10 points, all you have to do is tell me the composer.
Christchurch Storecat. Four A. No, anyone want to buzz from Birmingham? We'll take a ah. guess. One of Birmingham Herringshaw. Bach. No, it's Franz Schubert's from Death and the Maiden. So we'll take the music bonuses when someone gets a starter question right. Who's being described? He died in a French pauper asylum in 1840, having fled England in 1816 after gambling away his fortune and insulting the Prince of Wales. He'd previously been one of the most influential figures in Regency society and is remembered as a wit and a fashion leader. Christchurch Stalker. Beau Brummel. Beau Brummel is correct. So we go back now to the music uh, bonuses. You're going to hear three more pieces of classical music, each one with an association with death. In each case, identify the composer. First, for five points. Purcell? It was Purcell. Well done. Do you happen to know what the piece is called? Uh, or what it was for? It was funeral music, I'll tell you, for Queen Mary in 1695. Second for five points, tell me this. No, that was Mahler, Kindertotenlieder. And finally this. My mind beats and new words come. Benjamin Britten. Benjamin Britten, indeed, from Death in Venice. Right, another starter question. Which river rises primarily from Lake Tier of the Clouds in the Adirondack Mountains and flows for over 300 miles through New York State before emptying, emptying into New York Bay? Christchurch Roth. The Hudson. The Hudson River is right, yes. <laughs> right, you get three questions on gases for your bonuses. Developed in Germany during World War II, what name is given to the deadly nerve gas used in 1995 during an attack by the Aum Supreme Terrorist Group on the Tokyo Underground? Sarin. Sarin, or GB is right. The chlorinated compound 1-orthochlorophenyl-2, 2-dicyanoethylene, is more commonly known by which name derived from the initials of the chemist who devised it? <coughs> I'm going to clear them for CS gas, Corson and, Corson and Stoughton. Which, ga which gas is a powerful vesicant attacking the skin, eyes and lungs and was first used by the German army on the battlefield of Ypres Mustard. in 1917? Mustard gas. Mustard gas is correct. <laughs> Here's another starter question. The carbohydrate glycogen is stored in the liver and muscles and produces which blood sugar on breakdown? Christchurch Falk. Uh, glucose. Glucose is correct, yes. Christchurch, your bonuses are on names of London bridges. Which bridge crosses the Thames to the west of Southwark Bridge and takes its name from the religious community which, from 1276, occupied the site on its north bank? Blackfriars. Correct. The name of which bridge is believed to derive from a term meaning muddy landing place and is shared with a palace on its south bank? Southwark. No, it's Lambeth. Which 19th century public, public figure lends his name to the bridge which links Chelsea to the north with Battersea Park to the <laughs> south? No, no idea. It's a Prince Albert, the Albert Bridge. Another starter question. The Tuscan dish, Strozza Preti alla Florentina, translates in part as priest strangler and consists of which small dumplings which the clergy would allegedly eat so quickly that they would... Christchurch folk. Is it gnocchi? It is gnocchi, yes. <laughs> allegedly eat so quickly they choke. Three questions on American politics for your bonuses then, Christchurch. Who beat the Republican candidate Rick Lazio to become a senator in America's election of November 2000? Hillary Clinton. Correct. In the same election, what was particularly unusual about the victory of Mel Carnahan, who won a seat in Missouri? He's dead. 
He was dead? He was indeed dead, yes. <laughs> uh, the controversial right-winger John Ashcroft, who lost to the late Mel Carnahan, was confirmed in 2001 in which high office? Attorney General. Attorney General. Attorney General of the United States of Right. <laughs> All right, come on, Birmingham, see if you can get off with this starter question. Which right-wing reactionary group was founded by Pierre Gemayel and has since 1958 served as the political and military force of the Maronite Church in Lebanon? Uh, Birmingham Tarpy. PLA. Nope. Anyone want to buzz from Christchurch? Christchurch Falls. Is it Hamas? No, no, neither of those in Maronite Christian groups. It's the Phalangist. Another starter question. Formerly known as Stuart, which town in central Australia was given its present name in 1933 in honour of the wife of Sir Charles uh, Tot? Birmingham Melnikoff. Is that Alice Springs? It is, yes, good. <laughs> Right, Birmingham, you get three questions on the plays of Peter Schaffer. Which play by Peter Schaffer deals with Pizarro's conquest of Peru and his relationship with the Inca leader, Atahualpa? No, no idea, sorry. That's the Royal Hunt of the Sun. In which of Schaffer's plays do his characters behave as if in complete darkness, even though the stage is lit and visible to the audience? Equus. No, it's black comedy. Which of Schaffer's plays first produced at the National Theatre in 1979 and later filmed is The Confession of a Man Who Has, or Believes He Has, Killed His Rival, a Younger Man Who Is Beloved of God? No, no idea, sorry. That's Amadeus. And with the scores on 55 and 160, we're going to take another picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see the strip of an Italian football club. For ten points, name this Serie A team. Christchurch Fashion. That's Juventus. It is Juventus. <laughs> Now, I would say Juventus was the easiest one to identify, so let's see for your picture bonuses whether you can identify three other Italian football club strips, all from Serie A. Here's the first. Roma. That is AS Roma, yes. Secondly, for five points. Palmer. Palmer is right. And finally, for five points. AC Milan. Do you do any work at all? That's <laughs> Very good. Well done. All right, ten points for this starter question. Air Scottish Eagles and Sheffield Steelers... Christchurch Fangsham. Ice hockey. Is this another sport you watch a lot of on television? <laughs> yes, it is, that's correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses, Christchurch, are on parents and children in science. Which scientist had a daughter who made the first artificial radio isotopes, work for which the daughter and her husband were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1935? Mr. Curie. It's Marie Curie I'm looking for, and I don't... I sp actually, would be Mr. Curie, I suppose, would qualify. Yes, he would, actually. Yeah, I accept that. What was the, I would accept that, yeah. What was the surname of Francis, who, with his father, Charles, reported their experimental work on plant movements in 1880? Sorry, we don't know. That's Darwin. Uh, what is the surname of William, who, with his son, Lawrence, founded the science of X-ray crystallography? Come on. Sorry. That's Bragg. Five minutes to go. Another starter question. Which sea is part of the territory formerly known as the Spanish Main? Uh, Birmingham Mitchell. Uh, Catalonia. No, anyone to bust from Christchurch? Christchurch Falk. Caribbean. It is the Caribbean Sea, yes. <laughs> right, here are your bonuses, Christchurch. Which Australian state was annexed for Britain by James Cook, was part of New South Wales until it became a separate colony in 1851, became a state in 1901, and has Melbourne as its capital? Victoria. Correct. The Victoria Falls, named after Queen Victoria by David Livingstone in 1855, are on the River Zambezi on the border of which two countries? Zimbabwe and Zambia. Correct. Bounded by Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania, Lake Victoria is Africa's largest lake and was named after the Queen in 1858 by which British explorer whose claim that it was the source of the Nile was disputed by fellow explorer Richard Burton? Stanley. There was John Speak. Four minutes to go, another starter question. In calculus, what name is given to an integral with an upper and lower limit defining ah, the rate... Birmingham Tarpey. Definite. Definite integral is correct, yes. <laughs> Three questions on music in cinema, Birmingham. The American composer Paul J. Smith spent most of his career working on music for films made by which Chicago-born producer who set up his own small studio in the 1920s? 
Come along, it's not long. No, no, no. Let's Walt Disney. Which song was voiced by Cliff Edwards and performed by Jiminy Cricket in the 1940 animated feature film Pinocchio and became the Disney organization's theme song? When You Wish Upon a Star. Correct. The soundtrack of which film included part of the Pastoral Symphony? The results, according to contemporary reports, having inspired an emotional Disney to exclaim, this will make Beethoven. Fantasia. Fantasia is correct. Three minutes to go, another starter question. Which landlocked African country borders Sudan to the east, Libya to the north, and Cameroon to the southwest? Birmingham, Herringshaw. Ethiopia. No, anyone want to buzz from Christchurch? Christchurch fashion. Central African Republic. No, it's Chad. Another starter question. Sven Olof Waldhof, dressed as Napoleon, conducted the first live performance on British television of which song on April the 6th, 1970? Birmingham, Herringshaw. Waterloo. Waterloo is right. <laughs> Three questions on nicknames, Birmingham. The Great Commoner was a nickname given to which politician of the 18th century ennobled as the first Earl of Chatham? Marlborough. No, it's William Pitt the Elder. The same nickname, because of his refusal to accept a peerage in old age, was given to which 19th century politician? Don't know. It was William Ewart Gladstone. The Great Unknown was a nickname applied to which author after a series of novels were published anonymously from 1814 onwards, being described as being by the author of Waverley? Disraeli. No, it was Sir Walter Scott. Another starter question. Which French pioneer of aviation collected £1,000 from the Daily Mail for just over 40 minutes work on the... Birmingham Mitchell. Louis Blériot. Louis Blériot is right. <laughs> the first heavy over air channel crossing. You get three questions on astronomy for your bonuses, Birmingham. Which planet's craters are generally named after people who've made a major contribution to science or culture? The first to be identified being named after the Dutch-American astronomer Gerard P. Kuiper. Mars. No, it's Mercury. The plains of Mercury are named after the word for the planet in various languages, one of them being Su Suisse, which means the comet or water star, and is the name for Mercury in which language? Greek. No, it's Japanese. After what type of scientific installation are Mercury's valleys, Arecibo, Goldstone and Haystack named? Telescope. Uh, specifically... Interferometer. Radio telescope. Radio telescope is correct. There are minutes to go. Here's another starter question. What name is given to a ship or boat whose hull is lifted from the water when travelling at speed by submerged wings? Birmingham Herringshaw. Catamaran. No, anyone to buzz from Christchurch? Quickly. I'll tell you... Christchurch Stalker. Speedboat. No, it's a hydrofoil. Another starter question. What surname is shared by the football player George, the fashion designer Oswald, and the Labour politician Paul? Christchurch Roth. Boateng. Boateng and Boateng is correct. Another, here are your set of bonuses, then Christchurch. Three questions on the internet. As an integral part of an internet website address, what do the initials TLD stand for? Come on. Sorry, no idea. It's top-level domain. What TLD sh would de should designate an international non-profit-making body? Org. Org. Dot org is right. <coughs> In internet terms, what does the acronym URL stand for? I'm sorry. Uniform Resource Locator. Uniform Resource Locator. No, it's Universal Resource Locator. Bad luck. And that's the goal. Birmingham has 100. Christchurch has 235. Well, bad luck, Birmingham. Had you not had such a disastrous start, who knows, you'd probably have done a whole lot better. Of course you'd have done a whole lot better had you not had such a disastrous start. What a silly <laughs> mistake. Uh, but thank you very much for, for joining us and playing the game tonight. And Christchurch, terrific score, 235. We should look forward to seeing you in round two. I hope you'll be able to join us next time. But until then, it's goodbye from Birmingham University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Christchurch, Oxford. Goodbye. 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 And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Any of them would know who invented the first slot machine. It started before the 1700s. Isn't that taking a bit far? I mean, well, you may as well not have internal sanitation here as well, then. Well, I think it's very difficult because, you know,